So this is Warhammer Chaos Bane. Action RPG set in the Warhammer fantasy world. I have not played it yet before. This is my first time looking at it. We were provided a copy by Green Man Gaming. He typed exclamation point GMG in chat. It should be 15 or 21% off right now. Would you get more of the technical details there? I did that with Steam while my brother was with GOG. Man, GOG is so good. I've got Deadlock 1 and 2 on GOG. I'm just super happy it even exists. I hope one day they add the old D&D 2nd Edition game. Uh, Birthright Gorgon's Alliance, but haven't seen that one yet. In an age of lawlessness and despair, the empire of man lay in ruins, torn asunder by civil war and racked by famine and plague. Desperate, unscrupulous men deserted the temples of their fathers and gathered in forbidden cults, seeking the favor of the dark gods. And so it was, in the year 2301, that a Kurgan warlord named Asavar Kul united the savage tribes of the Chaos Wastes and made war upon the realms of men. The invaders entered the distant northern kingdom of Kislev and sacked its largest city, Prague. They sacrificed its people to their dark gods, and any who managed to flee were driven into the freezing wilderness. The Empire seemed powerless to stop the Chaos Horde, and many feared that the end of the world was at hand. But in the Empire's darkest hour, a nobleman from the south named Magnus rallied the people of the Empire to resist the invaders, uniting the warring Elector Counts in the process. The Imperial Army marched to the rescue of the Kislevite capital, fighting Kool's army in a massive battle outside the city walls. Joined by mighty heroes from all across the land, Magnus defeated Kool in single combat, and the Chaos Horde was scattered to the winds. Blessed by the gods, and Sounds like we already won. the true emperor, Magnus returned to Nuln in triumph. But even as the old world celebrated Magnus's victory, the dark gods were planning their revenge. That's right, human. We can all go home. We already won the war. All right. So I made this guy earlier when I was doing the testing for the settings. I haven't actually loaded into the game yet. <clears throat> find a game. I don't know why it says find a game. Maybe it's to play a multiplayer, maybe. Uh, Braggy Axe Biter. So you have your own. Okay, it's like everyone has a Braggy. Let's go. Leaderboards, huh? As a young dwarf in the great city of Karaza Karak, you were taught the legends of your ancestors ever since. Probably you were longed for the day when you could win fame and glory of your own and restore the luster of your much diminished clan. When High King Thorgrim Grudgebearer called for warriors to aid Kislev during the Great Chaos Invasion, you were one of the first to pledge your service. Along with your father and your younger so brother, you left one? Karaza Karak behind, marching eagerly to war. It wasn't long before you were in the thick of the fight, trapped inside the city of Kislev. You and your kin fought fiercely against the Chaos. Oh, uh, okay. So wars don't give you XP, guys. Keep that in mind. We just chop that dude's head off. first assault breached the city gates. It was the dwarfs who led the counterattack that drove the enemy back and saved the day. Your fearlessness in battle earned you the name Axe Biter, and the Kislevites hailed you as a hero. But the more you tasted of glory, the more you began to crave it. When Magnus's army arrived outside the city, your thirst for immortal fame ended in tragedy. Tragedy? Leaving or... a force of 300 dwarfs, you tried to fight your way out of the city to join the Imperials and fight Kool's army together. It was a deed worthy of legend, but not even Grimnir himself could have fought his way through so vast a horde. Your reckless charge was driven back oh. at a bitter cost. Oh. 
Half of the valiant dwarfs that had followed you were slain, including your father and all of your brothers. Oops. Racked with guilt. That means I'm in charge now, though, right? You swore powerful oaths of vengeance against the dark powers, and so you chose the path of the Slayer, seeking redemption through a glorious death in battle. When the final battle outside the city walls began, you went forth alone to find classic dwarfiness and challenge him to single combat. You carved a bloody path through the enemy, reaching the Chaos Lord in time to see him fall to Magnus and his knights. After the battle, you accepted an invitation from Magnus to join his retinue and return with him to Null. As far as you were concerned, the new Emperor owed you a glorious death. And with many of Asavar Kul's champions still alive, you could be sure Magnus would not lack for foes. Hazel, never not blub. I was like, why the 101? Now I now I see. Top cheer Hazel. Thank you very much. What was that VIP wall? Human, darkness, and Hazel. Excellent two shot of blub guy in the dwarf, dude. It was an age of lawlessness and despair. A time of dark magic, treachery, and war. <laughs> it is Paid actors move along, that's right. Witchery and evil deeds. And across the city, guardsmen clutch their weapons tightly and count the hours until the dawn. Sleep is hard to come by on a night such as this. Well, they're guards, they shouldn't be sleeping. Tense, and memories of the battle at Kistler leave you restless and on edge. Oh. Suddenly, a peal of thunder shatters the stillness, followed by a howling wind that shakes the tower to its foundations. Foul magic curdles the air, and screams echo in the courtyard outside. The tower is under attack! What's all that noise? Best take a look. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's add a one over here from Hazel before I mess it up. Hazel, thank you again. Uh, use the left click to move. All right. Oh, all right. That's pretty responsive. Leave the dormitory. Right, human, you can't make them happy. Like, if there's cinematic, they get angry. If there's gameplay, they get angry. Uh, so we have a left click and a Q button. Q is the potion. I mean, if we take damage, we just run away, right? What the hell are those? What the hell are we? An attack! Ha! Find the ancestors! If it's Magnus they want, they'll have to go through me first. I best get to the throne room. I'm still confused why I'm level one if I'm like this war veteran. Hey, you think there's any shit out here we can steal? While everyone's away? Why have all this map area if there's nothing in it? Nope, nothing to steal. I mean, sleeping naked is pretty normal in this area. Maybe his clothes or his armor should be in there. Hey! Oh, man. Instant gratification. Let's go. Kill enemies. Alright. I feel like we haven't, like, fulfilled that obligation yet. What the hell's loot? Or XP. That must be my XP. Okay. At least we got something out of it. If you don't sleep naked, get out exactly, like... Oh, more nerds. Healing. When your health is low, use your potion by pressing Q. You will need to wait several seconds for your potion to refill before you can use it again. Okay, if you're injured... Oh, they actually want me to do it. I'm not injured. I'm amazing. I'll take damage. Speak to the soldier, alright? Hey, what's that? Let me in there. Let me in there. Let me in there. Let me in there. Thanks, Sigma, you're here. There's monsters everywhere. The tower's being overrun. Well, that's because you a bitch. I know. Accelerating, isn't it? No. Where's Magnus? Upstairs in the throne room. There's armor in a chest by the stairs. Take whatever ah. you need. But hurry. Give me my loot. You have new inventory in your or new equipment in your inventory. Press I to view it. Hopefully it's an I. All right. Let's see. For some reason, my clothes are in another room. Use your mouth a mouse to slot. Select a slot. What? Okay. This. What? No, but what? What? It auto equipped, right? I have nothing in my inventory, by the way. Jesus. Let me read all this shit now. 
Hey, I picked up more than one thing, right, guys? Were we on the same page here? Do you want actually reading that stuff? What's over here? I have no points, right? Oh, points available. 21. I don't get it. Unlocks level 8. Four points to use it. The hell do I do with points until then? Status, journal, whatever. Um, this just sorts, I think, and filters by craft. I think we can all grab nothing on me. Oh, Jaden, you were talking about Baldur's Gate 3 earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, like, I didn't see the tweets for it until my girlfriend pointed them out. She was big into the first two. I have played the first ones before. It was always like that summer game I would boot up, lie to myself that I was going to play a hell, hell, of it, hell of a lot of it, and then didn't. PR88, hope you're doing well. The game that gave us the Naked Dwarf tank archetype. So, was I doing, like, Thorns damage at one point, did you guys see? So, do you have the key for this loot box, right? Let's go. Instant stick on tattoos. Alright, you taking Thor's damage? Hit me. Hit me. No, it's me taking damage. Alright, that's terrible. Whoa, what? When you level up, your character will gain skill points accessible via the blah blah blah. So I hit level 2, basically. Okay. Let's kill these punk asses. I saw crit. More crit. There we go. I wonder if I can just hold the mouse button down. I haven't checked that out yet. Where the hell are my skill points? Alright, so I can do what? This? Zero points. Zero points. What the hell is this? Oh, I have a right click now for shred. Okay. Advanced skills. Well, how do I give them points? Equipped on this. I don't equip. How do I give it points? Points available. Like, I have all these points I can't fucking spend. Next skill, maybe, maybe. I think the mini map is saying there's a nerd up top. I don't see if there's any loot over here. Where's that go? Probably nowhere. Yeah. All right. Some punk ass up here wants to die. I can hold the mouse button down. I thought I had to do like click over and over again. This is fantastic. Uh, his arc ability is chained axe. He uses it to quickly rush towards his enemies and fight them at close quarters. Press space to throw a chain axe and launch yourself in the direction of the cursor. It's like a combat dash. I can... I can spam it. I can spam it. Okay. As you reach the throne room, the air seethes with foul magics. The Chaos Sorceress stands before the throne, and Magnus, the savior of the Empire, is what? caught within her spell. There's only one thing to do. Roaring a battle oath, you ready your axe and charge! Right. So Magnus beats the big bad. By the time you regain your senses, the but one of his lackeys? Over, the Wait, Sorceress what? is gone, what? leaving you and Magnus for dead. Okay. The shouts of angry men fill the throne room, but these are not guardsmen. They are witch hunters, the Empire's feared inquisitors, led by none other than the infamous Heinrich Voss. The hell am I in custody? You are under arrest for the murder of the Emperor Magnus, Voss declares. You try to tell him about the sorceress, but Voss refuses to listen. I see no sorceress here, he shouts. Only you and a room full of dead men. Confess your crimes, dwarf. Boss threatens. We will have the truth from you one way or another. The racist. After a week in the dungeons, you'll tell me everything I want to know. But before the witch hunter could make good on his threat, a commanding voice filled the room. Stop this madness at once. Teglis, law master of the high elves, regards Boss coldly. Raggy Axebiter has told you the truth, he said. It is you who have refused to listen. Teglis examines Magnus in silence. He lives, thank the gods. The High Elf says at last. But he is in the grip of a powerful curse. It is only a matter of time before he succumbs. No one outside this room must know what happened here. If the people learn that Magnus has fallen, then everything he fought for will have been for nothing. The fate of the Empire lies in our hands. We must find this sorceress and I think it's like Rage Darkness. Like late. more combat means if more rage. Magnus dies, the Empire dies with him. 
But yeah, exactly, um, human. This Magnus guy, like, handles the big bad and then gets, gets dealt with by some rando lackey. There are dark and terrible forces at work in the city, Braggy Axebiter. If we are to find the sorceress and defeat her, we must confront the dark cult that has taken root in Nome and expose its secret master. Why don't we just kill that sorceress while they were here? Just tell me where I can find them, elf. My axe will take care of the rest. The attack on the tower came from the sewers that stretch beneath the city. So long as the enemy controls the tunnels surrounding the tower, our position here is vulnerable. Okay. Your first task is simple. <laughs> right, emotion. Enter the tunnels and drive the cultists back from the tower. Kill everything in your path. Oh, that's... But beware. There is no telling what foul things await you in the darkness. Ha! My Grimnir, I hope you're right! I like Braggy. That's a good plan. Uh, the glowing door I'm guessing is the one I'm supposed to go to. Like, what is this? It doesn't tell me. Alright, so you gotta use the golden doors to, like, navigate around. Uh, enter the sewers, alright? Do you have, like, anything to say to me? Anything to sell to me? No? I haven't really seen any loot yet. Why are there two doors here? Oh, go down there. Main quest? Oh, I guess it's like for like difficulty like wandering shit later. Well, I think it's because it's very early human for the cinematics. Like, we're still like in the intro. So good graphics. Wonder if this is the new game I was looking for. We'll find out. Darkness. Remember the uh, GMG command though has a discount on it, it's like fifteen or twenty percent off. Hopefully, some nerd will. Like, the game won't let me tap. I can tap out. Like I can do this and then. There we go. Thank you, Dark Knight. Uh, certain advanced skills require energy use before they can be used. If you don't have enough energy, you cannot use the skill. You regenerate energy by damaging enemies. Yeah, so it's basically rage. Uh, if Braggy is not fighting and has no rage, aha, charges. Oh, he has a separate mechanic for rage. Uh, he gradually loses energy. Gotcha. So kill things. Yeah. Give me loot. I'm getting gold, I guess. Oh. Die. You better drop some loot soon. I gotta remember I only have to hold down the mouse key. I'll need to keep clicking. Over there. Yes, the holding down is much better. Explore the sewers. I'm guessing because it's early and we're in story mode, like, we're not actually taking damage. We are, but, like, nothing relevant. Whoa, did you guys see something on the ground? I never saw the item, but I saw, like, the, uh... Oh, we found some pants. That's... Armor, health... Uh... Is this, like, a set? Troll Slayer. And we have Troll Slayer, different name. I think those are sets. Hey, 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 you. Get your ass over here. Is somebody shooting at me? Alright, anybody drop loot? No. They're all useless. I mean, the gameplay is smooth enough, like, for bringing an intro and, like, starter trash mobs. Because of the thing earlier, I definitely expected to see, like, mobs on the map at all times, though. Hey, what the hell is this? I almost skipped this. You know, all that stuff. I think of fragments or fragrance? I'm not sure which we just saw. Are there any health regen? No. That's all potion based. All right, so we have better pants. We lose one health, we gain armor. Give me. All right, what do we have now? Different one of five sets. Hmm. 
21% human? Rush, you keep calling Dark Knight darkness. Do I? To me, oh, Dark Knight went there. Uh, what classes does this have? So the ones I've seen are the Dwarf Slayer, the like Imperial Soldier, I want to say like a female assassin type, and then like a, some kind of wizard mage character. That's just at launch. I don't know if they have plans for, you know, expanding beyond. Blue Garden looks great. Think I'll get it soon? Well, Blue Garden, if you do, check out the GMG command that Dark Knight uh, posted earlier. If you want a discount for it. Game does not let Rush interact nearly as much as Eve. That's true. Now imagine this guy chopping a troll in half, stealing, <laughs> putting on the troll's pants with one hand while chopping through more trolls with the other. Exactly. Never stop. I mean, it could be a thing later, uh, human. I wouldn't say just because it isn't there at launch, it isn't an option down the road. Wizards are fun in Warhamster. What the hell is Warhamster? Hey, 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 if you're gonna shoot me, there we go. I think I'm poisoned. What's over here? I was looking for something to steal. Alright. Feels a bit like Baldur's Gates. The darkness, I would, I would agree. I mean, I always played Baldur's Gate games as like um, turn based games. But I do remember you could like input orders and they would kind of do like AI things until you updated their commands. Alright, we're almost level 3. We have a loot chest. Here we go. A blue item? Oh man. Alright, game is easy now, boys. Let's go. What do we get? Uh, did it auto equip an upgrade? No. Okay, good. Right, they do that. Uh, these pants are plus health, negative armor, so we don't want them. They're garbage. Hold shift to compare. Jesus, that was not <laughs> what needed to happen at all. Why does it say hold shift to compare when it already compares to what you're wearing? Alright, skill stuff. We unlocked 13 of 23. Why do my points not progressing at the right same pace? Let a war cry that grants a max health bonus for all players regenerates energy and rage. I want things that are more offensive. I haven't used my right click though at all. Or my uh, dash ability. Hey, hey, hey. No sneaking around. That I do like, human. I do like the idea of not like a lot of windows popping up and crowding things personally. I want to check their side of this hallway as well. Maybe I really do need to try the, uh, the right click. Like they're letting me clear content with like one click. That's like the worst thing they ever do for me, right? What the hell is this? I'm spinning rage and not doing, like I guess it's like a ranged attack, but like why would I do a ranged attack if I just want to hit things in the face? What did I just pick up? Like an appendage? Hmm. Another loot chest I almost missed. Alright, we're exploring every map all the time now. Look at this. I almost missed this. Another hatchet. A ring. That's like legit blue. Upgrade. Easy game. Easy life. Uh, it has a better crit chance than what we have, but not relevantly. Maybe there are slots I need to look at. No, it's auto equipping. I got boots earlier. Okay. Max health. Man, I'm unkillable. Armor, max health, counterattack damage. What do I have counterattack? Wasn't it like a status thing? Uh, attack, defense, utility. Counterattack damage. Like, when do you counterattack though? Like, I want tooltips. Armor piercing, none yet. Loot, extra gold, loot quality, experience bonus. I thought I had like a 15% experience bonus for something uh, like the. Uh, Early access code I got. Hey, Rhinestone. Have you ever played Divinity 2? I have not. Uh, not Original Sin, the Dragon one. I have not, not yet, Darkness. Though, um, I was telling my girlfriend about the 
Divinity Series and Pillars of Eternity. Like, she's played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And I was talking about the more modern ones and how, like, they're co opable. So those might get played and or maybe even streamed someday. Are you playing a release version, Rush? Uh, release version, yes, Dark Knight. The, the closed beta apparently already ended. It says release today, but the store shows... Buy yeah, I noticed the website said pre-order, but Steam says it came ba came out back on the 31st, uh, so last Thursday, I think, Dark Knight. Because I, I downloaded the beta on Steam, and it told me the beta was over, and then it let me play the, the retail release version on Steam. Yeah, exactly, human. Like, I want to see, like, are there vendors? Are there, like... And keep in mind, like, we're playing basically on story mode. Like, there are multiple difficulties. There's, like, supposedly in-game content for running maps. I mean, it's an action RPG, so you're always grinding mobs and grinding loot, so... I don't like my right-click ability at all. Like, the wildly singing, swinging seems to be way better than... You see that whirlwind around me? The ring, more stuff. What is that thing? Fragments. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's any loot chests. Oh, here we go. I think it was just drop cash though. Nothing over there. The aggro from like around the corner, which is weird. Give me the money. Uh, their side doesn't have anything, so we're gonna go check the hallway portion. Here we go. Show me the loot box I was gonna walk past. You've rewarded me for walking all over the place so far. Alright, I guess not this time. Uh, let's go check this side first. Explore the sewer tunnels. Alright, so we're doing that. Speaking of Baldur's Gate, Larian Studios could be doing three. That's what we've been talking about, Ryan Stone. Yeah, the rumors. Um, it wasn't Jay. I was in the chat at the moment. Someone was talking about that when we first came in. And I forgot about it when we talked about it again just now. Alright, nerds, get up here. Prepare to die. That was around the corner killing. Alright, so the human always take a little bit more damage than. The little nerds do. Right, Q and spacebar, and you actually keep my hand near the keyboard. Up until now, I've just kind of like spam left click, and it's been fine. What are you doing? Does he have a gun? No, he has a bow. Okay. I mean, there are guns in the settings, so. At least I think there are. Alright, where's my next treasure chest? Tease me with them early on. Hey, is there more gold over here? There we go. I don't know what the gold's for yet. Jay, I like the golden box A and A D and D games. Unfortunately, Baldur's Gate moved away from the winning formula. You mean between one and two? Has there been other ones? I thought so, uh, human. Another hatchet. I'm pretty sure that's a downgrade though. We found two blues so far, like. I'm guessing trash loot falls off pretty quick in terms of potency. Alright, so we have a quest objective ahead. There's a whole other hallway we haven't done yet, though. Uh, let's do this. There's no cooldown on the dash. It seems to go to cursor, regardless of distance. We're right back over here. To get around that corner. Oh, you didn't care for Baldur's Gate specifically. I got you. It was the first one of those types of games I played, though. Loot chest. Made the right call. A family pendant that was blue. All that for, like, a dead end. But it was good that we came back. Alright, so... You're an upgrade. Excellent. Uh, cost reduction in place of damage. Uh, you're not an upgrade. What have we heard for the blue? Why well, I found a blue? Oh, pendant. Here it is. Health and energy. Okay. Nope, that was the wrong button.
We should go over like the walls with it. Like downward, not upward, obviously. Eh, I don't know, upward makes sense too, I guess. I do like that it goes to mouse cursor though. The range seems really good. Wait, we did come down. I'm pretty sure we jumped down that thing without going to the stairs. Leave the sewers. Is there more loot if we leave the sewers? We're only doing this to steal shit. Alright, let's go. Start playing Torments, Tides of uh, Numenera. I've owned it since release, but I got Pillars of Eternity around the same time. Got sucked into that. Rush, can you swap out your offhand weapon for the other blue, or is it main hand only? It seems to be main hand only, but like you're right. Like I, like the visual... Oh, wait. I think you're right. No, no, no. You're, you're absolutely right. Good call. Thank you, uh, Gorthag. Like, I only looked over here for the weapon. And like visually, the guy had two weapons, so I was confused by that. Good catch. Right, Ryan Stone, yeah, that makes sense. Return to tech. So we, we cleaned out the, the sewers for him. And he's gonna like tell us good job and then give us something else to do, I presume. There's nothing in the tunnels outside the tower except dead men. Plenty of signs that there are more cultists deeper in the sewers, though, or I'm no dwarf. Aha. I do not doubt it. The servants of Nurgle flourish in darkness and filth. Our battle against the cult has only just begun. Well done. Return to me when you are ready for your next task. Okay. I got a tab. Thousand XP. I don't want that. I want the uh, condensed version. Let's get that the hell over here. Perfect. We can still slam that over there, I guess. Let's see, a hundred crowns, a thousand XP. See him in his chambers. There so. is grim news from the tower. Voss has learned that a large group of Magnus's guardsmen have gone missing. He believes they might yeah, have pursued the cultists into the sewers during the attack. So? I'd have done the same if that damn sorceress hadn't blasted me off my feet. They've been gone too long, Bracky. Either they've gotten lost in the tunnels, or the cultists have cut them off. Someone must go in after them and bring them out. I feel like when he says someone, he means me. Yeah, that's true, Velves. I don't know why, but I want like nameplates for the for the mobs. Like not as a necessity, but Hey, 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 that bullshit running away. Locate the survivor. Let's pull in the fragments. Another level up. We're unstoppable. Hey, where'd you come from? Alright, guys, like, I need to spend my skill points and you're ruining it. Hey, hey, hey! A, A, die. All right. So we gained avenging charge. Form a charge forward in a straight line. How's that different than my? I guess it does damage over my hook thing. At level eight. So I guess maybe spending skill points. You know what? I bet the things in this column unlock automatically, and then things over here you have to spend points for. That's what I'm gonna guess. Unless, we're, because we're playing in, like, newbie story mode, maybe it's auto-spending our points for us. Which would suck, overall, but, like, 
I get it for like a new player who's never played a game like this before. You ordered Dark Knight? Let me know what you think. I don't know if you have time to play it today, but you might get further than I. Holy bunch of nerds. Alright, here we go, guys. This is what I want to see. Like, the endless wave of bad guys. Just wading into them. All you crappy bow users die. I see a blue thing on the ground. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's fragments. Okay. It's fine. I'm going to pile you up next to your friends. I like that the bodies stay. your plan was. Alright, all you nerds need to die. The uh, cooldown for my potion not up yet, so. I think it is now, though. Family pendant again. Check the stats on that later. I think I want to kill the majority of nerds before I go You'll use my potion. Like okay, there's the Hit notification. Me. So it warns you when you're being stupid. Okay. Give me those. Uh, you. Upgrade. Easy. Damage? Oh, and health. Alright, definitely damage. Max health and a ring. That's an upgrade, I guess. Uh, 37, 43, 37 is the same as the other one. Crit chance, no thank you. Better pants? I need to check all this shit. Doesn't it tell you at which level they unlock? Yeah, the uh, does this take any skills? Yeah, six fifteen will all unlock there, and then seven twelve. Oh, you're saying like yeah, level eight's when it unlocks. So I figured we had to spend four skill points to get it though. I'm thinking these auto unlock and auto apply, whereas we have to like manually spend points here, and we haven't done any of these yet. Like we're not level eight yet. That's just me guessing so far. Oh, you're waiting for the email. I got you, Dark Knight. Yeah, <laughs> human. All right, let's see. Oh, there's more nerds over here. I still want to see the next damn treasure chest. All right, range nerds, stop that. These nerds like run all over the place. Hey, you're dead. What are you doing? You're just watching your friends die. Stop running away. All right, should be against the rules. Nothing over there. Nothing over here. I think we're fine now. I don't see any uh, anything to loot. If you can, Dark Knight, let me know the, uh... Like, how many minutes go by between now and time you get your email between purchase and key delivery. Hero's biggest concern, where is the loot? That's damn right. Or, or a bunch of XP. I think we're about to hit level 5 today. There's level 5. Looks like you uh, auto health regen on level up. You see that aura on them? Is that me debuffing them or is there like a lieutenant dude helping them nearby? Alright. Where are these nerds? I'm gonna look at the skill thing. Uh, so at five. Money. Nothing new, right? Yeah. We're doing it for a shitload of money. Seven gives us a new thing and eight will give us a new thing. Potato cake? Gotta make this stupid anniversary pop-up go away! Seven months down the drain! Thanks, Rush. Potato cake, you're very welcome, and thank you very much. And yeah, Dark Knight, definitely let me know, thank you. So you only got a passive at skill at five. Let's take a look then. Uh oh. What? No. That's skill points. Two, three, four. You said there's a passive somewhere? Oh, you're right. Rage lasts longer. Okay. Was there like a notification somewhere? I just didn't notice it. Fan skills. What the hell is a fan skill? All experience gains are increased. Do I need to like, activate it? Kajus, 54 months. I keep getting this, <laughs> this button, so I keep money. pressing it. Kajus, thank you as well. Have you played this one yet, Kajus? Notification when you level up? Gotcha. Thank you, Jay. Guessing you have a total of X skill points you can use, and since you can't use them all yet, it just auto-selects them. Could be. I still think it's like a new player type of thing, too. Uh, plays a special emotes. Increases looting radius. How do I, like, activate these things, though? Are these, like, always on? Or do I have to pick, like, pick which one of these I want to use? Hopefully give me the XP.
gold increase. Like, you can, only, you can only equip three of them, I'm guessing. So I don't care about that. Changes the visual of an equipped object. Don't care about that. Another emote. Alright, so I'm going I'm to try and turn those on that way and see if that works. What the hell is that? Chest piece. Alright. We need chat to be like masters of loot and tell me when to check my inventory. I will not remember. Somebody else came. Trousers, so pants and chest. No. Chest piece. Yes. Pants, yes. Chest piece. I thought we had chest piece. I don't see one. Alright, so we're looking for gloves. Oh wait, what's this? We're at three of five on this set though. One of five there. Murder everything. Alright, shooter dude, I see you. Just die. Okay. Nothing over there. See, I have not yet, but it's on, my, on the list to play. Gotcha. This is my first time seeing gameplay, so... It has the potion mechanic I'm used to from Marvel Heroes. Uh, we have a, like, a... Is that the right thing? Like, I can dash around with my chain ability with spacebar. There's another charge ability. Um, what, is it? what does this do? Rage. Two is some kind of big hit. Oh, that was a charge. Like that. I'm guessing it does damage where my chain thing does it. Yeah. Chain thing can be interrupted by uh, collidables. Or at least NPCs. Mobbed, rather. Potion, we'll start the cooldown timer on that one. I don't think we need to go this way, but I want to um, explore for the uh, treasure chests. They got me early on that, so. And to be fair, I guess in most ARPGs, I always want to clear a map my first time through. I'm glad they have loot indicators. Alright, so I'm thinking that there's no way a white pendant can matter. And eh, defensively, I guess. Nope on that one. Okay. It's probably the loot ghost. Camera changing. Or I noticed that human coming down the stairs. I guess it was noticeable that I wasn't ready to go like full E Riot Super Nerd. Alright, let's go this way. How close to Diablo 3 is this? It looks eerily similar. I mean, it's an action RPG. Like You might think all action RPGs look like Diablo. Especially if Diablo 3 was your first action RPG. Hold on to something, human. The camera angle changed again. Human, human, watch the screen. Human. Here goes, human. Don't get sick. You can count on the right over meaningless things, right. Like we're on a roller coaster. I can see myself playing a lot of this if I had more time for like uh, Total War, Warhammer 2. Like just the immersion factor. Which kind of relates to what we are talking earlier about the Marvel rumor for a lot of games kind of being developed to tell like one big Marvel story. Sounds you're making a very angry salad. CPO using HP and nothing I like. I was there for first Diablo. I don't get it. You don't like action RPGs? Though you might have, like, when I hear, like, this looks like Diablo 3, Diablo 3 in my mind has, like, a negative connotation. But I forget that, like, some people actually enjoy the game, so I need to do a better job of keeping that in mind, I guess. And especially on Twitch, there's going to be plenty of people, like, their first action RPG was Diablo 3. Achievement unlocked battle ready. Is that for hitting level 6 maybe? Hey, what are you doing over here? Well, I was like standing around watching me slay their buddies. Alright, now you're all dead. Uh, skills. Uh, 6 got me what? 7 and 8 were up there. Nothing down there. Okay. 
We got God skills. I don't know what those are. More nergs. D3 is amazing in hardcore mode. I mean, play people enjoyed, obviously. I just didn't care for Diablo 3 after it got turned into a single player game. Loot chest. Here we go. Give me all the goodies. Blue something. What was that? No. Yes. Excellent. The 3 of 5 on that set still. Um, so we're going to need something that will. Like, break all this shit and, like, you know, sell it to a vendor or something, right? That needs to happen sooner rather than later. Space bar our way over here. Excellent. Hey, hey, hey. Alright. Apparently new, newly picked up items, and they seem to have like that little, uh, some kind of like notifier symbol on them, I notice. I need to watch more closely next time. I am noticing the, num the damage numbers going up. But because I can't see their HP, I don't know if like... If mobs are becoming tougher map to map or not. You know what I haven't done yet? I haven't pressed tab yet to see if there's like a map thing. Oh, there is. We have to hold it. I don't like the holding tab thing. Uh, alt. Usually shows the loot. I don't think there's anything on the ground right now. There seem to be pretty noticeable indicators when there is. Alright, you're dead. More nerds. I don't know if we ever get one in this game, but I definitely want like companions. Because, you know, just holding down left click is not easy enough, right? Hey, did I finally get gloves? Oh, it was an earring. No, it was a bracelet. This looks like an earring. Uh, we got armor and health. Okay. So I want to clear this out first. For max loot. Probably XP. Look at that. Called it. Hatchet, shoes, and cash. She's top left. Upgrade, easy. Better than my blues. Counterattack damage goes up, but I'll take the uh, way heavier stats. Oh, hey, another upgrade for our chest. I missed that one earlier. Health and armor. What was the bonus on that one? Extra gold if you get it all. Huh. Trying to reach out and walk. There was a hatchet as well. Oh, you're right. Look at that. I wonder how we compare these. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you think I got... Oh, no, they look the same. 45 damage. Good God. Um, crit damage goes up. Overall weaker, though. Like, how do we compare them to... There we go. That's not what I wanted to know, though. Like, how do we compare it to the other hand? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, so I gotta swatch I gotta swatch a swatch. I need to switch the slots, I guess. Uh-huh. Alright, so this is 45 and 43. So I'm guessing this is better damage for us now. Alt shift maybe. Well it says shift for the uh, oh, to your secondary slot. To move to your secondary slot though. Alt. Hold alt. Oh, it is showing. Oh, there you go. Hold Alt to compare to the one. Not move to. Okay. There we go. No human. All I had to do was hold down Alt. You're just as bad at reading as I am. Alright. Let's go over here. Fragments given. Like, fragments better be for crafting, is all I can think. Give me that money. And sewer water? How about this? Uh, look at the survivor, sure.
Okay. More slaughter. The little nerdlings are basically just build your rage, I think. Damned cultist. Lord us into a trap. Try to fight, but too many of them. Well, it's because you suck. Easy now, lad. You and your men fought well. Not really. Let's get you on your feet and back to the tower. Hmm. They took them. And I went still able to walk. Hey, Willie. Dragged them screaming into the darkness. Forget. Right, human? Me. Find the others. I guess at least we learned that the convo paused the combat. Alright, never not get all the XP from the map. There's something over here. There we go. Oh my god, a running ranged mob. Man, the day we find something that, like, auto regions our health, game over. We made the right call again. More easy loot. A blue hatchet, another ring, another hatchets. Some gold. Alright, what do we get? Uh, hold down alt to check against their slots. Alright, still not better. Upgrade on the ring. Can I now just right click it? Oh, perfect. Just hold down the alt and it'll equip straight to the other slot. Holy crap. More damage, health, and cost reduction. Sure. Nope. Uh, extra health, but lost on damage. Okay, this is fine. Hey, where'd you come from? I guess I'm gonna check this corner. I came through here, we'll run this perimeter. Hey, give me that money. More loot. There we go. Blue hatchet, blue hatchet. Let's take a look. Uh, hold on the alt. No. Yes. And yes. Excellent. Because we just spam. Oh, those do damage. Okay. Hey, where'd you guys come from? This is fine. Like, I'm definitely wanting a boss fight at some point. Like, even like a small boss. Like, you know, where's Butcher or... Leoric or, you know... Got more money. <laughs> Potato cake. Uh, I made it back with 425 this morning. All right, speak to the elven nerd. Got it. Get me in there. I found your lost warriors. They'd been trapped by the cultists and surrounded. For what it's worth, they died well. Most of them, at least. Hey, Renclaw. This is reminding me of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance quite a bit. I think about that one. That's the one on PS2, I think. Fast looking looks nice. Looks too much like PoE though. Yeah, some people think it like looks too much like other games or not enough like other games. Next thing, like nerds will be calling this an action RPG and make other nerds mad. Heh, <laughs> human. And the others? They were taken alive. According to the bitch we found. Not much point taking them if they're dead, is it? What huh. does the cult want with a handful of prisoners, though? I mean. We made a really good point, and then we asked a really silly question. Not prisoner. 
sacrifice. Exactly. Offerings to the Lord of Pestilence in exchange for more power. We must do everything we can to prevent this. Go and make whatever preparations, preparations. you require. Oh. Then return to me as soon okay, as you Okay, he's ready. telling us to go away. Like, we have an option, like, go do something else. Like, buy stuff or craft something, maybe. I don't know. 2100 XP. 150 bucks. Might as well do this cash, though. Collector's Guild unlocked. The hell's that? Visit the Collector's Guild. Alright, so we're going to make us do it. Perfect. <laughs> this game looks like too much like Eve. It's a very subtle dating simulator. There you go, emotional. Wooly, welcome back. Get off here so I can watch a shot. He's actually live right now, Wooly. I think he's doing some maple. Then, like, Wooly had a stroke and started typing random letters. We tried that earlier, Vels, and didn't really find anything, but I think this quest is gonna, like, actually lead us to the interactions. Aha! I figured this would be the guy. Uh, thank you. Donation. He won't trade. And he won't relic hunt. Relic hunting? Wait, what? Relic hunting. But this son of a bitch will take a donation. The Collector's Guild is a guild that collects, sorts, and, and categorizes all kinds of items, no matter how rare or insignificant. You can give any item you no longer need to the guild. Wait a minute. It's like Goodwill. What a fucking scam. Um, which gradually increases your reputation. The guild does not sell items, but it will offer you a unique reward each time you increase your reputation level. Oh, that's better. Donate items to the Collector's Guild to increase your reputation and earn rewards at each level. Okay. Uh, this is fine. It's a lot of health, but we're keeping the damage. I was making sure there's nothing out here like we need to really look closely at. I'm sure everything's fine here. It's all in the up and up. All right, how do we donate it? Quick trade. Trade all commons. Excellent. Bam. And then... Did we get no reputation gain? You son of a bitch. Oh. 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 Okay. Confirm trade. That moved it. Alright, so... Common items are literal trash and do nothing. Gotcha. Look how greedy he looks. Look at they're rubbing his hands. A dick. Alright, let's go back in here. Send your ist gold items to this address to obtain salvation. That sounds kind of familiar. Sounds like trashing items with more steps. Yeah, like, it would make more sense if we actually got any reputation out of, like, a, like a, a bag full of uh, common items. Maybe the rewards will be huge. Send back double, exactly. Human, are you ready for the camera angle? Look at this. There is no time to waste. Even as we speak, the cultists <laughs> Dark are preparing to sacrifice their captives. If they succeed... Wait, what? Why would you move for no reason? By iron and stone, I swear it. Mm. The enemy will do everything in their power to keep you from reaching I hope the that involves giving me more loot. Time. Choose your battles wisely. Oh, what? Now go. Battles. I had one battle. Go save these captives. Save the prisoners. That's what I thought we were doing. We had this. See, guys, we talk about meetings, right? This meeting had no fucking purpose whatsoever. He told us things we already knew to send us to a place we were already going. All right, let's go over here. Nice space bar here. Excellent. Let's go. Give me all your blues. I'll trade you greens. Wait, is Scored here? I just heard something he would say. It's true, where the hell is Squirt? It's Monday, maybe he had a rough weekend. Like how the Emperor is still suffering, his curse in the background is hanging out. Expeditions, invasions, and boss rushing. That's probably if you complete the story, I, I presume. Gifts of the Dark God. Wait. It shows where we're going. Whoa! Alright, this game's over, guys. There was a timer. I'm done with this game. Timers. We need to save seven prisoners in a certain amount of time. 
game over. A timer? Uh, how do I save him? He looks pretty dead to me. Chat, go. How do we get him down? Level up. Oh, got him. Alright, good. Now what? How's that debuff on him? Or a buff? Alright, the map's kind of telling us where to go. This is terrible. Nine minutes to do all the work. Never not basic attack forever, guys. Alright. Nope, long time for your crap. I hope we're not skipping anybody. I'm totally skipping somebody. No, we're not. We're fine. Right, let's try some buttons. That did nothing. That did nothing. I like that button. It gave me loot, even. Yeah, I'm used to Marvel Heroes just healing me as I go. How do we get over there? Nope, no time for your shit. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is fine. No, this is fine. Everything's fine, guys. We got this. I don't know if they leashed the entire dungeon, but uh, I think we're about to find out. It's enough out of you range mobs. How's that cooldown looking? Not good. Okay. Holy crap. Maybe I should be worried about the timer so much. What a sweet hey, if you guys want to see me rage, watch me die to a timer. Okay. Hey, get your ass over there. Don't worry guys, we're coming to save you. Everything is fine, okay. I'm trying to charge her like, there we go. Full heal, I'm the level up. Level 8, got some new ability. Acquired an improved skill. It's a more powerful version of the skill, but costs more points. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to have to do the reading for now on, too. Hey you, range guy, die. Six and a half minutes, we've only saved one fucking prisoner, guys. We're in so much trouble. Three more in here, though. Maybe I can't save them until the room is clear. Hey, what's that big son of a bitch doing? Holy shit. Get ready for button mashing, guys. Hey, what does this button do? It has a cooldown, it's terrible. Alright, let's kill the guys. Oh my god, we're slowed. Oh, we're gonna die. Runaway time, let's go. This is fine. Everything is fine. Timer, come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is fine. Full health, here we go. Uh, no more stunning me, please. There we go, big hits. Easy. Jesus Christ. We are so fucked. I won't. You get his dash. Oh my god. What does that do? Nothing. Uh, there. This is kind of fine. Five minutes left. I need to find three more prisoners. They're ahead of us, though. Okay. Maybe they'll be as bad as it gets. Maybe it's easy sailing from here. It's an abyssal. Man, practically. That was a big old monster. It's also 10 minutes you won't be looking at chat. You know it. I hope you guys entertain yourselves for a bit. There's more of them! There was another big boy back there. Now he's chasing us. That's not good. I need to get hit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. 
Let's go. I really need to get away from these guys. I don't know if they'll eventually like leash off or they're gonna keep coming no matter what. I'm gonna use the potion now. Here comes the big boy. Oh no. Alright, one of our guys are down here. The loot chest. Okay, I have to kill everything before it let me save me. That sucks. This is fine. Wait, hold the potion. Nope, not hold the potion anymore. Oh god, get me the fuck out of here before I get stunned. Can I kill him in a brawl? Let's find out. He's dead. Get the loot. Get that crap. We didn't get hit this time. Excellent. Two more prisoners in three and a half minutes. This is fine. No problem. We already know where one of them is. And there's no baddies over here. Easy. Alright, loot. Give me the loot. No time to look at it. We gotta go. The last prisoner. Uh, potion, go. Get the timer started up again. Oh, you dick. Get out of the way. Charge, there we go. Easy. Oh, shit. Can I jump this? Excellent. We found the last guy. There's big AoE. Let's kill all these guys. We got three minutes to save the last guy. We're fine. Everything is fine. Get rid of all these damage sources. Give me that loot. That fucking scam artist at the guild donations place is going to try and rob us again. More loot and the final objective. Excellent. Another level up. Easy game. Hey, you. Die. Okay. You're going to sit up there for like two and a half minutes, guy. I got stuff to do. Uh, defense at the cost of power. No, give me that. Yes. Yep. Um, no. No. Yes. Alt? Sure. Yes. 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 No. Armor? No. Yes. Also yes. Also yes. Easy. All right. Leave the sewers. Happily. Clock is gone. What if the clock stayed after we like did all that crap? I'd be so pissed. Man, human. You have no idea how much I hate timers. Like, as a deal breaker, game ender, like. Yeah, we did get some new skills. I didn't have time to like stop and look at them, so we'll try to do that now as well. I'm glad you reminded me. Alright, so stand here for a second. Let's take a look. We're level 9. Hey, hey, no sneak attacks, asshole. Get out of here. This is fine. Uh, Savage Superior Swing. So this is like, oh. This is a better version, right? Eternal Grudge, right? Oh, we already had that from earlier. Okay. And Mastered. Gotcha. Okay. Huh. Shred, where was this at? This goes my right click. Oh! Now I understand. That's why you got a min max thing. So you like you get all your abilities, but then you have to start picking and choosing which versions of them. Okay. Uh, no new passives. Next pass is at 10. Okay. Uh, where'd my little ghost guy go? I didn't take him off. I don't know where the hell he went. So the better versions cost more skill points to use. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. It's like the ability you, you want to use the most, which to me obviously is going to be like the left click, the basic attack. But I need to find a spinner that I don't hate. I wonder where my ghost guy went. Is it bad I want my right click to be the... Um, Spacebar attack. I don't know if I can rebind that. Never not basic attack. It's right. Potato. Absolutely. All right, nerd. 
a fucking scam. Quick trade. All trade all. Go. Mm, what a fucking scam. I think you can swap them without rebinding. The abilities in general, yes. I'm not sure about the, the spacebar one. Like That seems like a, like a game mechanic. Hey, our ghost is back. Same thing, Vels. I think you can do that for the uh, for everything except the space bar. But I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. I'm guessing these are like god skills for later. There's like nothing there to show us that. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely using upgraded uh, basic attack. You can stop worrying, elf. The captives are safe. The cultists never knew what hit them. Damn right. Well done. The chaos gods withhold their gifts from those who fail them. This will weaken the cult. And increase our chances for victory. Excellent. Now is the time to press our advantage. Return to me as soon as you are ready, and I will have a new task for you. So XP. I'm sure we're gonna get some gold. Mm-hmm. We still haven't found like what we're gonna do with gold though. Like the other guys didn't sell anything, so. Family pendant. Hey, that looks like a yellow item. Bloodlust is unlocked. The hell's that? Speak with the nerd. Okay. Alright, let's look at this item. 5% attack power. Upgrade here. Cooldown reduction is improved. Damage and extra gold. If I find what gold is for, I might actually care. Okay, let's equip that. Oh, spacebar. Never not spacebar. Dramatic effect level 4. There you go. Alright. They haven't really introduced anybody new yet, so. Change difficulty, manage players, options, online games. So I guess I can turn that on or off. Invite a friend, find a game, back. Wait, online game, offline, friends only, public game, offline, gotcha. Back. Options, manage players, change difficulty. Ooh. Alright, so it says we're playing... Are we playing normal? We're playing normal as far as I know. Very... There's an easier version of what we've been doing. That's insane. So we're getting extra loot quality, extra gold. Hard. Very hard. Chaos. Chaos 2. 3 and 4, I'm guessing. And 5. Okay. Extra fragments. I wonder what fragments are gold are for, though. Hmm. Very hard to go home, exactly. Inventory is good. Skills we've gone through. There's like a status page, too. Alright, that shows you the XP numbers. Gold crowns. I don't know what these are for. These are the type of fragments we have found and how many. I don't know what this is. We know about the chained axe already. I need I need tool or I want. I want tooltips on these things. Because like I want to know what our counter attack damage, like counter attack chances and things like that. Our gear is giving us extra gold. The thing I equipped really gave me extra XP. Because I also want to go through like the other classes as well. Like, how far in do I go? Like level ten, level twenty. Like, what level do I go to before I try the other class to see if I like the gameplay better? I mean, I like the dwarf. Like, I'm definitely liking the just smashing everything with face to face. <laughs> Insomniacs. Hazel's got a cup of cold brew, so doing just fine. Were you at work? I'm confused. I don't know if your coffee got cold at work, or you're home and already got a drink at 10 o'clock in the morning, or whatever. And we're not here to judge. Oh, you're home today. Nice, Hazel. Today is Monday, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely check this out again. So, we do have three copies of It Lurks Below to give away. I'm gonna try and stream it tonight and tomorrow night. I'd say tonight's, like, iffy. But tomorrow night's pretty certain. We'll do it lurks below. 
Um, or maybe I'll do alerts below after Eve tomorrow. And maybe I'll do this in the evening. We'll figure it out. Because either way, I, I want to put more time into this. And I think it's easier for me to put time into this in the evenings. And put more eyes on alerts below right after Eve. I think that makes sense. That's why I was thinking, uh, scary. Alright guys. Thank you very much for hanging out today. We get to hang out for a little bit extra time checking this one out. I'm glad we did so. Dark Knight. Let me, uh, if you can, Dark Knight, ping me on uh, Discord when you get your key. Man, Crush. I haven't seen Crush in a minute. Type it with a quest. It actually wanted to say clear the sewers. Apparently so. It wanted us to kill everything. But you guys have an awesome Monday. If you're new to the channel, hit the follow button at the top. If you want notifications when we go live, I'm on here Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Eastern. If you play Eve, that's downtime. Whatever your current time is, subtract four hours. That's my usual start time. If you guys need anything in the meantime, you can always find me on Discord or Twitter. Just tag at Rushlock and I'll answer as soon as I can. Rush, come play some Albion with me. Hazel, ping me and remind me to, to reinstall it, because I actually do want to check out Albion again. I do want to play more in the evenings again, so I don't know if you play typically... Um, I don't know, between like 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern. Like any window and that makes sense for you. Because I know it's a little bit earlier for you, so that may not be an option, but that's when um, I'm supposed to tag. Who the hell is it? Uh, oh, Rhinestone. That's right. Rhinestone has all the Albion stuff. I'm supposed to ping him once I get on there. Anyways, but generally when you are ready for bed, yeah, that's what I was thinking, because I'm usually getting off the computer by 8 p.m., which is when most of you guys are getting, like, kids settled and laying down and stuff. The group I play with well before me. Good. Awesome. And maybe I can I can catch some of them then. You guys have an awesome day. I will see you on the next one. Until then, be safe and have a great day.